So you have a method. In this case, I have a method that prints hi to the console. You can call the method like this, and this will call the method as start. All right. But what will happen if you wanted to call the method a certain amount of seconds after start? For that, you can use invoke. Invoke takes a reference to the name of the method as a string, and in a second argument, you indicate the number of seconds that you want to wait, right? So in this case, we are waiting one second after start, and let's see if that works. All right, fine. But the problem of this is that if you were to change the name of the method, all right, then it will not change the reference. And this is not a big problem in a small class like this, but in a big project, it can get really messy, all right? But luckily, something exists called name of, all right? So let's change this method again, all right? And just so you are aware, if you click the name of something in Visual Studio, you press Control R R, you will change that name in all the classes of your project, all right? So name of takes the name of a method or anything else and converts it to a string, all right? In that case, if we were to change the name, it will also change the name here and in all the classes of your project. So we can check that this still works. And perfect. Now, another thing that you can do is invoke repeating a method. So we are doing the same thing. We are referencing the name of the method with name of and invoke repeating takes two more arguments. All right. The initial amount of seconds that we want to wait and then how many seconds we want to wait until the next repetition of this invoke. So let me change this to two so you can see what I mean. All right, let's play. It is going to wait one second and it's going to invoke this. And then after that, it is going to wait two seconds and it's going to repeat the invocation again and again, All right? Now you can also cancel and alt invokes. In this case, what we are doing is invoking the cancel invoke method, all right, which is another function that you have here, right? And we are canceling alt invokes after three seconds. So let me change something like this, all right? And now it's going to wait one second. It's going to invoke sometimes, and now this right here has been called and is cancelled the invocation of this. All right. So I hope you liked this video. Hopefully you discovered this, which is really useful. I will highly suggest you to use coroutines instead, but sometimes if you want to use a method, then it is fine. All right. See you in the next video. Thanks.